During historic preservation work on the Pantheon Saloon, park staff discovered this bird's nest. It is unique because it blends nature with Skagway's tourism culture. The Days and Days show started uh, was started by the um, Fraternal Order of Eagles back in 1923, uh, and it took place not in the Eagles Hall but at the White Pass Athletic Club, uh, which burned down um, after the turn of the century sometime. Every day uh, before the show, about 15 minutes, we had the ladies in the window. Yeah, they hang out the window with their feathers and their boas, and uh, so those boas kind of fly around town and get picked up by, um, by little birdies who build nests. <laughs> this nest is a unique representation that combines cultural artifacts with the natural world. The pink feathers are believed to be from modern costumes. The nesting site had already been disturbed by the crew, and the nest was abandoned, so the curator collected and cataloged it into the museum collection. Where else but in Skagway would you find a bird's nest that incorporated pink boa feathers? When Alaska became a state, uh, tourism started to pick up and more ships were coming up, so they started to perform the Days and Night Eat show more often. And then in uh, the late 70s, the uh, cruise industry uh, was a big boom. So uh, it became a professional theater uh, because the volunteers couldn't handle the amount of shows uh, needed to be done. And some of those feathers end up blocks away, you know, um, some of the Tourists like to pick them up and keep them as souvenirs. And I also have to sweep up all the feathers after the show. So we have piles and piles of feathers inside. So I'm sure that uh, there's lots of feathers that blow around town. Uh, pink, blue, green, uh, all sorts of different wonderful colors. Uh, but, uh, and you know, it helps draw people to the show. And, um, and I think the ladies have fun up there. <laughs>